We want to dedicate this word of Torah in honor of my son, Alicia Meir ben Yaakov ben Voro, who passed away a year ago. Shavuos! Unbelievable. So, the Bar Bishop Rebbe asks a great question. You know, when we pass away from this world and we go up to heaven, there are certain questions that are asked from us. One of the questions is, did you yearn, did you look forward to the redemption? And as that is one of the tenants that we're supposed to be actively involved in yearning for the redemption, he asked the question, how can we, being in the year 2015, possibly yearn for something we never had, for something we never actually tasted? It, if, for me, for example, come, I came from California, I could say, oh, the, oh, the surfing in California, how I long to go back to surfing those waves in California. I tasted it before, I can understand it, right? Some people, oh, the chocolate of Belgium, oh, it's unbelievable. Right? You can yearn for something you tasted. How can you possibly yearn for something that you never tasted? So the answer is, at Mount Sinai, we tasted it. At Mount Sinai, the Kedusha, the energy, the influence that was dispensed on that day. And it happens every single year on that same day. That same energy of Matan Torah, the giving of the Torah, was given on that day, that same level of Kedushas. On that day, we were totally free from death and totally free from servitude of nations, completely. It was an unbelievable, that was the taste of redemption that we yearn for. Now, to actually make our Shavuos the most unbelievable thing, you have to understand a little bit about Sphira and that we notice that we count to 49 days. And of course, all of the holy books say those 49 days was corresponding a level of tum'ah, a lack of life energy that we were getting out of until we reach the day of the giving of the Torah, which is the 50th day. Now, there's 49 levels of tum'ah, of this lack of life energy, but the 50th, there is no 50. What is the 50? Every day we're fighting, we're cleansing, we're, but the 50th is going into the root, the root of existence. So every day as we're counting those days, where are we counting to? Yes, a ladder, but the idea, the concept is the root in which there is no, or all evil. It's all a complete unification on that day. That is why on Shavuot, we, we sacrifice, we offer two chametz, leaven chalas. Leaven is the day that we sacrifice on Shavuot. We're going from matzah to leaven, because why? The, the, the evil inclination is completely nullified on this day. But the preparation we have to do also, and the preparation comes from the verse in Tehillim in chapter 51 that brings Lev Tahor Barali Elohim, a pure heart, make for me God, Baruch Nachon Chadesh Bekirbi, and give me a straight spirit, a straight spirit renew within me. Lev Tahor, a pure heart. Right? Lave to Horbo, create, create for me. That is our part. That is our preparing ourselves to be the special nation and our special mission that we have to express. We have to make ourselves and to be the white fire, the clean cloth. And on Shavuos, the second part of the phrase, Ruch Nachon Chadesh Bekirbi, straight spirit renew within me. That is the Torah, that is the black fire. White fire, black fire. We make ourselves the white fire, and then Hashem puts upon us the black fire. And then we become a walking Sefer Torah, and we become the emissaries of the world in terms of the will of God, and to bring God's will into the world. Have an unbelievable Shavuot.